Hello, my beautiful clearance. Sorry this reading came out so late in the day. I have a new job! So, you know. I'm just gonna scream that excessively from the rooftops because it's like, uh, it's kind of boring right now, but it's like, oh, I hope it picks up or more shit happens, but knowing my luck, it's probably gonna be boring as fuck. And I hate boring jobs, but it's like, whatever. <laughs> ah! Oh dear, quite a few came out. Someone doesn't want to be a booty man, they're trying to take a rest. They might be insane in the brain, cause they didn't do their best putting out a seed. Now they gotta sit there and think, calculate, on how things gonna end. That was stupid as shit. <laughs> it's whatever. Anyway, let's see the vibration of the person we're reading for today, my dear viewers. Once again, the person who is not giving, they've yielded, they stopped. That was what was up yesterday, wasn't it? So I guess this might be the same person. Or overall, all the peoples. Anyway, if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it because it is just a guard game. Guard game. Card game. Mind you. Shit won't come to be real unless you believe in it. Boop your nose and wish for the best. If you want a personal reading after this, just hit me up in my email, Facebook, or Instagram below, right? We's got King of Pentacles, right? I will hit you back up in a minute, Debbie. I love you, but you know. Also, guys, I've noticed that all my, like, I was listening to one of my YouTube videos earlier, and an ad didn't start at the beginning, but there was a bunch of ads in the middle, and that kind of pisses me off, because, like, you know, I don't like interruptions. I don't like knowing things are interrupted. You go back to where you were, sir. You as well. Like, I hate interruptions, and my stuff set for just at the beginning of videos, which I, which I would rather prefer... I don't know if YouTube changed stuff or whatever, so I'm sorry. I mean, if you guys want me to, I'll take the ads off. That way you don't get interrupted. Just let me know. And I will do that. But right now, this querent, as we are going forward, has the King of Cups. They're trying to validate their own emotions. They're trying to figure things out. Because they've been burdened for a while. Could be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Right? And the thoughts and feelings we got wanting to get out of the fucking cold in order to get back into the warms. They're tired of being out there. They got frostbit or something. The root of those emotions, the Hierophant reverse. There was a lot of uh, excommunication and stuff going around, right? We got the Three of Cups right here. Your neighborhood witch bitches just gather together gossiping, conjuring shit, whatnot, right? Coming up with something, you know? There is a reference from the past that's being brought into the future with the Six of Cups reverse. And things just didn't come together with the Temperance card. Nobody made a Megazord with Sagittarius's energy, right? The vibration for this, clear it. Four of Pentacles. They value our relationship more than themselves. And I can't help but feel like that is a little bit, mmm. I was just talking to somebody I did a reading for today. You can go down. There we go. I was actually doing a reading for somebody um, earlier today. Talking about, um, you know, how you shouldn't let a relationship make you or complete you or some shit. And I feel like this is what this one person's doing. Which is like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, how many people do I have to say that to today? But you never know. Like I said, if this resonates with you a good deal, if not, don't worry about it. This could be you, this could be your person. I'm still gonna talk about you the same way, so just embrace the suck, as I have had to do for many a year. Because it feels like this querent 
is trying to fix this, the temperance reverse in particular. It's like they're going in, they're talking to their bitches, they want to come out of this cold situation where the root of it is like excommunication, divorce, being separated from those that they love. They're taking that shit into the future with reference in order to deal with this situation right here because it's too much of a fucking burden, right? And they're trying to figure out their emotions from that, right? Right. So let's see. Can of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, what's up with this dude? He's trying to come out of this element of being blacked and clouded. Ten of Swords, Reverse. He no longer wants to be this way. But unfortunately, he's still pretty insecure about some shit and very miserly. Because a tower did not happen for him. That draconian, forceful energy that comes in and cleans everything away. What the fuck am I looking for? Sorry, I had to go grab something. Because, you know, I'm a weirdo like that. But anyway, that's what this person's, um... It seems like their main focus is... In some regard. Right? It's like, um... It's almost like they're coming out of some sort of madness. Like, it's almost like they were... Like they're examining their own emotions to figure out why they're so insecure about something that didn't happen. Which is like, okay, like, you go do you, man, but that's really weird that you want to examine why something didn't happen. But we're going to figure that out with the Ten of Wands right here. What is it that they were, what are they burdened with since this tower didn't happen? They're no longer crucified or tortured? They got harmony and chemistry. They are going... They will eat at that dinner table, goddammit. You know? <laughs> like, that's what mom says. And now they have all the treasury and discovery in the world. What? Okay. So, wait. What? Oh. So I went to pick these up and, like, this just popped out. Were, was... Oh, Quarant, were you holding out for a tower? Were you expecting somebody to fall for your trap and just set the entire place on fire and burn down to the ground in order to send the message like you don't fuck with the fishes? You know, that's kind of fucked up. But, what do I know? I'm just a messenger. Anyway, so what's up with their whole energy and what they've been dealing with, right? Because that's essentially what this entire row is. I haven't named everything appropriately yet, but it still works, right? Okay. They were going to be very decisive with the Queen of Swords. Making proper judgment calls. I don't know if they were trying to cut out a resurrection or if they were expecting a resurrection. Because they were betrayed, right? But what was this burden they were dealing with? They didn't know where to go, what to do. Their options were pretty, uh... They were pretty much in their feelings, for the most part. And they didn't feel empowered whatsoever with the Nine of Pentacles reverse right here. This is somebody who, like... Is this this narcissist I was reading for yesterday? Because it's like, they'll cut anything out, but they allowed this resurrection that ended in betrayal. But now they're burdened because they don't know where to go. They have feelings about it, and they don't feel empowered anymore. It's like this person was mad because they were already confused about where to go, but some it's almost like somebody made a choice for them. And now they're just ready to burn somebody's rabbit because they're not happy with how things have gone, right? Thoughts and feelings! Five of Pentacles reverse. They want to come out from the cold. They're begging the other person to just open the door instead of, like, keep an argument up. Like, I don't care if you want to drive the car, Steve. You can drive it as much as you want. Just let me in the goddamn house. And Steve's just like, I don't know, man. What if you're not going to let me drive anymore? You know, like, weird shit. Like, weird, petty shit, I feel like. Like, stuff that don't even fucking matter. They just feel left out in the cold because it's something little? Uh, they were expecting something to...
flourish fruitate come to some sort of realization in this and it's like they had to go inside themselves to figure it out but they've kept that shit an enigma and secret. They haven't spoken on it. They've just been trying to move to better times, I think. Make new travels. But over here, it's like they don't know where the fuck they're going. And then they're mad because someone made the choice for them. Or they felt like they couldn't go anywhere because then they'd be disenfranchised or some shit. Hmm. So then we got, like, the hyperfit below. Which is, like, excommunication, divorce, shit like that being removed from the community. That's the root of the feelings right now. Someone thought they could be prolific, cultivate, be sneaky with their scheming shit, or, or just figure things out before everybody else will. That did not mesh. It did not come to fusion. It was not chemistry. Um, it didn't work out the way they thought that, they, that it would, right? Ooh, several came down. And that's how it all came to fruition, surprisingly. Um, the wrong idea, and they preserved that wrong idea as long as they fucking could, you know? That's what brought the whole thing to an end, almost. Oh, my God. Don't mind me. I'm just being awkward at this point because I dropped something that I shouldn't have dropped. Okay. There you go, potato. Uh, Skinner, or whatever it is you call yourself. Mmm. Anyway, this person is very confusing to me. <laughs> Like, there is a disconnect or a separation from a group or a person or whatever. And it's like they thought they could be sneaky, but it didn't bring anything in that caused the fusion. And that's how it's all come into play. It's like, here's all the signs, and now it's all coming full circle. Which I find really, well, not, not too terribly weird, because Saturn is waking up. He's stretching out. He's just like, oh, that was a nice fucking nap. Who's been fucking up now? You know? Like, that's just how Saturn rolls. He's just, he looks for people to fuck with. You know? That's my daddy, after all. <laughs> Alright, there's five of pentacles right here where someone's keeping quiet. Hoping for good things to happen, but I, I, I feel like it didn't happen the way they wanted it to. They've kind of given up so far. Oop. Really? Okay. They were expecting good news. Maybe a new start somewhere. But I feel like somebody left because somebody else was playing too many fucking games and, like, decided they wanted to win the game more than anything. And then a, a big change happened in this commitment. But now it's reversed right here, so there's no commitment anymore. Right? They kind of gave up on everything... Then they wanted to act all spoiled and man-child-like because it's just like, what the fuck? I thought I was going to get things my way. And he's looking directly at that Four of Pentacles, too. And now they're just sad and shit. They're just, they're just, they're sad. They're more than the press. They're obsessive, actually. Like, you know, let's be clear. The uh, King of Wands... He is not just somebody who acts on action. He's a lot like air signs when he's in his power. He knows how to act and act accordingly. But I feel like he didn't do so here. And that's why he's kind of given up. But he's all mad about it because he had to give up. But in the background, it's like the feelings are like, oh, man, I wish I didn't have to give up, you know? Hmm. Like, I'd almost feel bad for him. Now, this Hierophant Reverse, where it feels like someone could be sneaky, but nothing came to fruition, and that's how the circle came to be. They're not fighting or arguing for anything about it. But they're unsure what to do of how to change things to cause whatever it is to die so something new can begin, something dealing with this, uh... Temperance right here. I wish my cards would stop like screwing themselves up. Now the vibration right here with the four of pentacles, right? This person has a keen eye over domination and mastery, right? 
But now they're coming. God damn. Now they're coming out of the illusion that like what it is they hunger and intended for. Did not work to their benefit. I'm like dropping my cards like crazy today. And I can't pick them up because I just cut my nails, you know. Still looking for a reason to stick around, hoping for a clean slate, but that doesn't work out for them. They're having a hard time recovering from that shit. They still don't have good manners. And it's still, temperance reverse. Uh, they still got a heartbreak going on, too, that they're trying to heal from as well. I feel like this makes my readings longer if you guys don't like that. Like, just let me know and I'll try to cut them a little bit shorter. I just read. Like, I don't know very much other than what you guys tell me, so... I would definitely love some suggestions from you guys. Ah! And there is another one. All my cards have been falling to the floor and it's ridiculous. Security. I feel like this, their energy is like, they wanted the control, but only because they feel like it would have fixed what was wrong with them to begin with. Like, Four of Pentacles again, right over top the Four of Pentacles, you know? Like, fixing their broken heart makes them more secure than anything. Like, they're too worried about their feelings. They want to get a wish fulfillment, if you will. Right. Rotate. Switch. For any of y'all who have been in the military who recognizes that command and uh, execution, you'll know what I'm talking about. Civilians, just... You understand, too. I know you do. Anyway, the neighborhood witch bitches. Three of cups. People are conjugating together. Showering themselves with gossip and such, enjoying the limelight of whatever, of something. Ooh, sorry, dude. Enjoying, like, something not getting started, things not changing, things staying the same, I feel like, and knowing that shit. I don't like that. I don't, I, I, I don't like that. I don't like that with the neighborhood witch bitches. I never take the, the three of cups in this deck very kindly, if you will. Um, there's always something about, like, bitches gathered together, showering around cups that just bothers the fuck out of me. And, I, and I've never known why, but this is one of the scenarios where it's just like, yeah, nah. It's like they're all happy that, that like, no recovery, no new venture has been started. Um, there is no snap of an alligator's jaw to cause something to change. And, like, it's like they already know that shit. You know? So, the Six of Pentacles. This person might be taking the, uh, this querent might be taking the past as reference into the future to understand things a little bit better. How they endurance fortitude they did not have. They might have come to some uh, quote unquote sins or vices or lusts. Made quick decisions that were bold and enterprising with the two of wands. When it came to a king of coins who was adamant and dedicated, which is not. It's like. It's like they didn't want to commit or they expected people to cater to them. Or be dedicated to them. But they couldn't give the same courtesy to another person. Could be an earth sign. You never know. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But I feel like there's also Leo involved in this as well. Is Along with the King of Wands right here. Because, you know, King of Wands, he has to be Leo. Because, like, Leo won't. Leo has to be king. They're just the king of the jungle. They're the lion. Also, uh, Sagittarius or Aries. But I definitely feel like this is, like... Somebody who could be dealing with a Leo when it comes to their emotions and shit, right? Temperance reverse. Fusion chemistry is not happening. Nobody's coming together to make a Megazord. They're all arguing and shit. Complexity and concern. Five of coins, which someone was already in. They want to be the overlord. Have supremacy with the emperor. But now they're miserable and tormented with the ten of wands. 
much am I expecting somebody to bow to them? That's going to be the title of this video. Just letting you all know. That's going to be the title. This person expected the rule over somebody else's happiness. You know, or else they faced pain with the Three of Swords. I just came out of nowhere, and then they just be like, ah, with the page of fucking cubs. Like, this person, okay, this queerant, <laughs> they, they're funny. They're funny to me. They're funny. Like, I, like, you know, I have no problem looking at, like, a, the worst person and finding something interesting to like about them. But they're funny. They're really funny. They're really funny. And I think, uh, I'm, I'm starting to really think that the cards are now picking up. Like, I told somebody the other day, which I don't know how long of days it's been, that I, it feels like it's the same person I'm reading for. And it's definitely the person from last night, but it's like, they're funny. Like, funny in the head, but they're funny. I don't know what to really make of them just yet. Like, I don't know. There's just something about them. Anyway... Back up to the top. What is this? Because I have the memory of a goldfish. Three of cups right here. What's up with the three of cups, please? Felt like there was an open door. Could be Gemini involved as well. Just because of the pair. It could be felt but this person could have felt like they had an open door. Six of Cups, once again. Get back on the board. Thank you very much. I don't want to glue my skulls, but I really feel like I have to. Because they keep moving. But I don't think it's their fault. It's more my fault. Mm. This person feels like they still have an open door in the future with the Queen of Wands. Even though the King of Wands is right here. But she's impatient. She's not waiting for long. In fact, you're agitating her more by making her fucking wait. That's, I'm just putting it as I see it, man. It's, that's how her energy always is. I mean, six of cups reverse. Like, this person already has six of cups reverse on, right here. Yeah, they got it up here thinking that she's gonna accept them back. Like, are you fucking insane? Like, I, like, are you literally coming to me with your cup full of shit and asking me to write bull as the name on it like I work at Starbucks, you know? This person still thinks they have, <laughs> like, I'm sorry for laughing. This person thinks that they have an opening with this queen of wands, right? But that shit's not going to work. Um, they're going to get caught up in their own bullshit. Nothing's going to come out in their favor. In fact, there's going to be more of a uh, lack of closure than anything, which they won't be happy about. That's two tens. Um... They're trying to get their mind right out of all of this in order to be a victor. And the only way to think their victory is possible is being Booty Man card. Always Booty Man. It's always Booty Man. Why? <laughs> Why do I, like I like you know I have respect for the Ace of for the uh, not the Ace the Knight of Wands right? But it's almost like everybody always goes to Booty in order to fix problems. Like you can't fix everything's with Booty. Not everything's is worth the booty. <laughs> I don't know. They just want to rush in. Maybe it isn't even about booty. Maybe they just want to rush in and like fix things. Maybe I'm just being an asshole. And then the rest of my cards go to the floor. That's wonderful. Anyway, um, six of cups reverse, right? We got this person who um, didn't have the endurance to hold up with this new start. Or make a decision that's bold towards an earth sign, right? They're keeping their secrets, but wanting a new beginning, which would actually make them happy. Right? Actually, this is the next... No, that's not the next set. It's got four. You know? Like, they realize the cycle's getting closed right now, right? 
but they're acting like they want to move on to something different because the relationship was pretty what people would call toxic which i really hate that word but it fits because people know what it fucking means and they're looking back at all of the enabling behaviors and bad shit that came about it's kind of like um watering a fig tree with poisonous water and then being surprised the fruit is poisonous as well as the well Wow, that was kind of confusing, but you know, it happens. But they're different wells. So, well, not really. They're both spelled the exact same, aren't they? Never mind. Just ignore me. I'm fucking stupid. Anyway, it's like somebody getting surprised that they're poisoned by fruit that they use poisonous water to water it with. Okay, that was kind of confusing too, but I'm sorry, so I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> All right. Then finally... Temperance reverse, impatience, two peens not coming together. Someone's been left out in the cold, they thought they would get supremacy, and now they are completely tortured in this environment. Right? They were hanging on well no, you go over here. My bad. They were hanging on for too long, acting like a martyr, wasting time. Mm. They should have been more considerate about how things were supposed to be fair. Two more cards. Now they feel like they aren't a victor and that things did not work out in their favor. Hopefully I don't drop any more cards because it's been a lot today. It's been a lot. I actually did another, uh, I actually got 16 people done after work today. So I was kind of proud of myself. 16 readings done. This one makes, uh, 18. Just so y'all know. So I'm pretty proud of myself right now because I'm getting shit done. I'm getting my money. I'm doing stuff. The only thing that sucks about my job is that they do withhold so I won't get paid till like the 27th. But that's going to be like a month pay. So like I have no reason to fucking bitch. Like that's an entire month. <laughs> Let's see. This person can't get out of their torment. I'm sorry about talking about myself so much. I don't mean to. It just happens. Um, this person is still tortured no matter whatever craziness they try to come up with and it makes them really sour page of wands it makes them play sour notes just to get on people's nerves you know they still want to offer their cup for sure in order to open this door back up again with the four of wands create a family a community or whatever and feel secure in that shit too because they got their feelings all out there and shit right they want to come back together. Like, use your legs to hold your butt in place so you look at them forever. You know? Like, they love you. Um, they want to move forward with this energy. This querent does. They need to come out of their freaking cave, though, with the hermit reverse and, like, realize that sometimes dream nightmares are dreams, too. They need to realize that. And that's why maybe they aren't coming back in from the cold just yet. They want to. I just don't feel like it's happening yet. Because, you know, an empress might be a little bit pissed. Just a little bit. Ju just enough to be like, what the fuck, you know. Um, and she's taking that key and refuse the energy of the devil right now. You know, she's going on dancing on turtles. Having a good old time with her woodland friends and ignoring the fact that, like, there was unfairness given to begin with. That's... I'll draw one more and that's it. <laughs> and then I go spy with a page of swords. Anyway, that's all the cards I'm going to draw today and that's where we're going to end today. So, my dear Queerance, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you to everybody who subscribes, who, like, asked me for a personal reading, because I feel like I should be putting that in more. But I probably won't say that last sentence, or that last sentence after the comma. So, it's whatever. Anyway, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. You want a personal reading, everything's down below. First reading's on the house, of course, because that's how I do. I'd rather have your trust than your money. Because that's how it works right here, right? Everything else comes with a price, and I do take dips and donations. So, um, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I love your faces. You take care, and don't let anything get you down. Alright? Alright. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.